going on guys it's your girl Denisha A and I'm back with another video for you guys I love you I love you I love you so much if you haven't already please go ahead and support your girl and subscribe to my channel also my lives today on my Instagram channel has been spot on I mean I don't never go live, so it's a little nerve-wracking. But when I tell you a lot of people were supporting my live, I had over, like, 25 people. And that's big for me, collective, because I normally don't go on live. But when I say I felt called and I felt so sure of my messages and, you know, these past couple of weeks, I've been literally being upgraded. Upgraded with DNA, upgraded with light codes, upgraded with downloads, and just being upgraded and accelerated spiritually. So... That gives me just more confidence in my readings that I'm putting out there. And I'm so excited. I've also been using the regular tarot deck, which is really new for me because I love imagery. I love pictures and I love to make out pictures. But I've been being called to use like this, um, deck, this deck. So it's been working. So I'm excited to see what spirit has in store for you and the messages that I am going to be used as a vessel for. You're going to say a uh, light prayer. All right, so we are going to jump in. All right, so we have the two of wands. Someone could be um, thinking about moving, relocating, or just looking at um, a new path or just trying to weigh your options out here. You, oh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. At the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups, guys. Oh, my gosh. At the bottom of that, the Nine of Cups. Wow. Wow, this is crazy. Look, the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right, so what I see right now is I'm talking to someone that has a plan. I'm talking to someone that is strategically planning out a way to move them towards or get them to this Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is all about overflowing stability. Your money right, your love right, your family right. There's no worries. Everything is aligned. So with these two cards together, Collective, you guys are... Evaluating a strategic way to get towards this abundance and financial freedom here. You might be relocating and wondering how are you going to move because you are over a body of water. There is some action being taken with these two wands. And, you know, you have your foot on this other stoops so you feel some type of support you put yourself in a position whoever i'm speaking with to be aligned with this you're not there yet because there's a path that that is going to lead you here but that you guys are at the first step you guys are initiating the first step and to towards this tent of pinnacles, which is financial freedom stability love happiness and all that you ever dreamt of on this earthly realm also there's something happened to where now you feel more in control of your life you feel like you have the world in your hands right now and you have experienced something to kind of catapult you towards this dream all right i'm talking to someone that has been very 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 kind and someone 
that has been being there for others. I feel like I'm speaking to someone that is a support system to others. I feel like this is someone that has big, 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 big dreams. And now, whoever this is, you are finally really seeing the way. Before, it was just in your head. All of this, because these are beautiful cards, nothing but abundance. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the freaking Ace of Cups, which is the Holy Grail of Love. And you have the Nine of Cups, which is um, complete and total emotional contentment. It's the wish card. It's your wish being fulfilled. So you have a lot of cups here. You have two, two cups here. One wands and one pentacles. So your emotions is is really shedding the light here on this reading. And you guys are finally moving towards your happiness. You have the ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles. I mean, the ace of pentacles. Some of you guys may be getting an offer because I said that. But you have the ace of cups, which is the holy grail of love running over unconditional love in the most highest purest form and then you have this spirit just doesn't bless you with financial freedom and an everlasting of emotional fulfillment spirit just don't bless anybody with that you literally are a person that takes action. There's something within your soul, within your power, that you was able to show spirit that you are not lazy when it comes to this huge move or this house that you want or this family or this financial freedom that you truly, solely desires. You had to put some type of action towards this manifestation here spirit will only lead you to the water but spirit is not going to force us to drink it because we have free will and he's just basically too busy for that but this is you calling back your power from a situation having some some sort of fun foundation to where you have support you created a lane for yourself where you could hold yourself up financially for a little while. You have finally put yourself in a position. This is someone that I'm talking to that put yourself in a position to finally see the real potential of their life here on earth. I'm strongly getting that you guys were clouded. You guys were clouded. You didn't really see, but you always had a dream. This is you turning this dream into reality with action here. Somebody really, really is taking action no matter what the adversity is, no matter what the challenges is, no matter what the situation is, you are pushing forward. You are now in complete control of your destiny and you feel like it. You feel confident. This is a sense of confidence. This is a sense of somebody in high honor. You don't see this robe here? This is someone that spirit is supporting. Universally. And now you're feeling that. So now again, this is no longer a dream. It's no longer in your head. You have manifested it in a 3D form because of your actions. Because of the strength and the willpower that you've had to overcome certain situations, even when everything was trying to stop you from this. That is how you manifest things in a 3D. They're going to see why is these cards here. So... Wait, let me just get one more card before I go into the reading. Ooh, the devil. All right. So, I see that you guys recently 
removed yourself from um, a situation and you the situation that you um, removed yourself from you were divinely guided to do so remember when I said your vision was clouded that's what I was getting and that you really didn't feel like you had a sense of direction and you've always dreamt of this fin financially free abundant family life that is filled with love but it, oh, it was always a dream to you. And I feel like you guys had to come to some sort of terms with you realizing that you have to remove yourself. You had to remove yourself from a certain situation or environment or a certain group of people or a place because it was hindering your ability to have control of your life it was hindering your ability to to see the world as you always seen it right and i also feel like a lot of the times you may have been thinking about all your dreams and all your aspirations that is here, right here in this top row. And you felt alone. You felt unsupported. And you had to support yourself here because, you know, this, this energy is alone. There's nobody there. Also, you could have probably had a lot of money or you could have been. This is, for an, this is another message that I'm getting, okay? Remember, a lot of this um, stuff is not going to resonate. Just take it how it resonates and switch the energies around as needed because this is a general reading. All right, it's not a personal. But this is another message I'm getting. You guys may be, I may be talking to someone that is in a position of power already, that has the world in their hands, that has everything. They have their ten of pentacles. You know, they have their overflow of love. They have, you know, their wish fulfillment. But it's just craving for a partner. It's cravings for someone they could share this with. All right? That was a message for someone. But what I'm getting is that you was forced. You was forced away from something that really caused you a lot of harm. Not a lot of harm, but a lot of mental blockages and a lot of confusion and maybe there was a lot of verbal miscommunication here and uh it was too much and this is spirit not only guiding you to calmer waters because I felt like you was in such a place where you couldn't even remove yourself from a certain situation here so spirit literally had to come to your aid because that's what spirit does and you felt a sense of comfort because you knew someone had your back finally you knew somebody had your back after all of the lies betrayals or deceiving acts or miscommunication verbal abuse trauma karmic cycles and patterns you finally felt like you can call your power back because you were moving mentally into a more clearer way of thinking and that was because of spirit spirit literally forced you out of a situation because any longer you would have been done meaning you would have been lost you wouldn't know how to gain back your clarity because Sticking around a situation for too long will do that to you. You could lose yourself. And I feel like you are someone of significant power. Even if you don't feel like it here in the 3D, you hold a lot of power in the spiritual realm. You come from a lineage of high honor. And spirit is not going to continue to have you go through cycles of hurt and pain and suffering. When it's not even your fault. You just don't see a way out. This is you 
knowing that you have support, knowing that spirit always has your back. Nine times out of 10 collectives, we go through things and it's only spirit there. You thinking you don't have nobody whole time. You wondering how the hell are you gaining this strength and this momentum to push forward? It's because you are never alone. Just when you thought nobody had your back, a blessing comes and that is strictly from spirit and you are fully supported and protected. And now that gives you the energy of standing finally in, in your power again and reclaiming your ability to, to manifest this life that was in your head, right? And really see the world through a whole new lens. You are finally really seeing that Maybe you did go through some shit. Maybe you did go through some real crazy mental blockages. But you needed to go through that. You, you, you've you learned because you've also got the swords in your boat. So it's not like you left what you've learned behind. This was some important lessons. In order for you to take it, you had to like really, really learn something for you to want to want to take these thoughts with you. So that's another reason why you was able to reclaim your power collective and really, you know, build something on a strong and solid foundation that you did. You are really seeing a world in a bigger view, in a bigger picture, and you are really remembering your task here. And that is because, you know, you are perceiving things completely different. You, I feel like I'm talking to someone that is open to change and that is open to learning things different, even if it is not okay. You know, I'm feeling like, you are here at this place of power and really about to set out on your desires because they are here and you see them. It's because not only did you suffer, but you've learned through the suffering. You chose to view this lesson as a blessing. I feel like this had a lot to do With maybe somebody of a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Capricorn here. You could have been dealing with somebody of a water sign where they didn't really have the emotions intact here. And with this magician... They were very manipulative when it came to maybe, you know, you and the love that they were getting, giving to you. You know, with this um, king, of, uh, king of Pentacles, with this King of Cups, you know, this is someone that embodies love, compassion, and, and joy, and really um, is supportive and understanding and just um, very empathetic and wanting to, like, console. But if followed behind negative cards like this, this is someone being manipulated. You might be a, a water sign or have water in your chart, or you may be um, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, um, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn, um, and Taurus. But what I'm strongly getting here is that somebody... that is very abundant whoever i'm talking to is very very abundant even if you don't feel like that now you're heading there right and you might have you might have been in a relationship or in some type of situation where the same amount of love that you was given or the same amount of money or time or you know, energy that you was giving, it wasn't being reciprocated. And I say that again, because not only, let me see if you could see this. Not only did spirit 
have to come and save you and move you into calmer waters, move you into, you know, a much stable atmosphere where you can think clearly and your emotions is not running too high. You know, when not balanced, the king of cups could have, could be too, too nice, could be too like a doormat because they are just so, so overly nice. They don't want to be mean. So I see that one, you know, someone here was being manipulated when it came to their feelings. Um, someone here has been having their kindness being taken for granted here. Someone here has been manipulated to the point where they almost got thrown off of the actual vision. If this person, you know, if you guys wouldn't have chose to move in another direction, this person was trying to manipulate you and throw you off of your vision here. I felt like this person this water sign or you might be a water sign that is being manipulated but i feel like whoever this is that was around you with this devil energy they were trying to chain you and bond you to low vibrational energy low vibrational experiences chaos confusion temptation Whoever this is, see your vision. They see that you was a visionary. Whoever this is that into your life, see who you are. And they see how abundant you are or how abundant you are going to be. They see how much care, how much love, how much support you provide. With the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups, this is pure, unconditional love. This person see that you had everything lined up for you. They see that. And you know what they did? Instead of trying to continue to push forward in this and add to your happiness what they did they manipulated the shit out of you they manipulated you because you were just overly giving I feel like whoever I'm speaking with gave this situation, all of they love, all of they heart, all of they money, all of everything to where you may have felt like anything more would have left you with nothing. And this person could have been an earth sign or a Capricorn. This person just was too, too stuck on the ego was too stuck on manipulation, was too stuck on getting things for themselves and not really um, relating the same energy as far as love. This person may have been too focused on money and wanting to be around you for money or wanting to really manipulate you for money with this magician call and this devil and this king of cups. The king of pup cups is so loving, is so supportive, is so just amazing when it comes to support and not and a lot of times collectives when you are a person of abundance when you are carefree when you love when you are not stingy people see that and they try to manipulate you they try to manipulate you into overextending themselves because the devil is simply 
being too greedy for the material material things. You know, the devil is simply someone that allows materialistic things to overpower them, overpower their soul. This is someone that is that will do anything for money or material gains here. And one of the things that they are very good at, what I can see in this reading, is manipulating. Manipulating someone here that I'm speaking with that has a, a heart of gold, that has pure love and support to give, that has learned from many lessons and no matter what they've been through in love, this person still finds a way to be there for others. Why would somebody ever want to manipulate that? Why would somebody ever want to manipulate you? You know why? Because sometimes it's not even them. It's the spirit that has invaded them. That is making them act out in such a way that they are ready to risk it all for some type of success or financial gains that they want. That's selfishness. Because if they cared about you, you wouldn't be getting manipulated and spirit wouldn't be having to physically remove you from a situation. Because you was mentally being blocked and confused and bound. This person was not only manipulating your life, but they was manipulating your love. They was manipulating the love that they was giving you. They would give you some and then and then pull back. They would give you some and try to make you beg or try to make you feel like you got to do something for their love. And all reality, you probably would think that you did something wrong because you just are just such an emotional person. Such a loving person. On top of that, a water sign. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, play with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces because, you know, once we really come to terms of what's going on, see, we are let shit slide because we really do things from the heart. Us water signs, we generally do things from the heart. So you may think you're getting one up on us, right? Doing something. And really... We not even looking at it like, like that. We looking at it like, well, why not? Because we got so much love to give, right? We not even looking like, we not even noticing that you are trying to be foul to us because we just feel like, you know, like, we just don't, don't even have that type of energy to perceive that. But then once people start to really drag it out and really continue Continue to manipulate us. Continue to um, steal all our emotions and energies and use it for their greater good. Once we catch on to that, because again, I'm talking to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pi or Pisces here that's being manipulated. Once you, once you know us water signs catch on to the bull crap, catch on to the manipulation catch on to the temptation and the bondage and the lies and the confusion. Once we catch on to that, oh, baby, we is out. Because we start to come to our senses. See, it take a lot for us to leave because we love so hard. But once we make that decision to leave, it's no coming back. Because nine times out of ten, every time we leave a certain situation, it's for the best of us. It's for the best of us. So this situation could have probably dragged out for longer than, than you expected. You know, this situation might have dragged out and manipulation and 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 just all types of shit. Um, drugs, addiction, sex, just manipulation with everything. 
once you got heat to this baby. <laughs> and you left and you you finally, you know, processed everything that happened. When us water signs do that, ain't no coming back. Because now look look how you going. You going from really not having the energy, spirit having to guide you. You really not, not taking care of yourself to now when you left, look where you at. You got now you got the world in your hands. You see where you come from? When you when when us Cancer Scorpios and Pisces pick up on the manipulation after we gave nothing but love, because nine times out of ten, that's all we give, and we wind up getting hurt so bad because we're too nice, and we become a pushover. But once we take heed to this, I'm going to keep stressing that. Once we take heed to this damn manipulation, and all we gave was love, support, and wish fulfillment to other people, or this connection, baby, we got to heal. We got to go through a dark night of the soul. But don't worry. Spirit's got us. But after that, bam, reborn, call all back our power, setting out to see the world, getting back into our desires and, and our abundance here with this Ten of Pentacles. See, once, you know, us water signs leave a manipulative, a, a manipulative situation or person. Once we wake up to that narcissistic energy, once we wake up into getting treated like crap when all we gave was love, we make that decision to leave, to heal, and to go through some dis-ease for a little while. But the outcome is, and the end results is greater, renewed, rebirth, re rejuvenated, revitalized. Calling back your power, supported, built on a new foundation, even if you are alone. And some of you guys, I feel like, are alone right now. But you are alone basking in your abundance. I feel like you are alone, but you are well the fuck happy. You are not stressed no more. I feel like you might be alone right now, but you're not crying in a Honda. You're crying in a Benz. You're not crying in a Honda. You're crying in a Maserati. And after you're crying in a Maserati, you're going to have some drinks. <laughs> you see how the switch up is real? You're never supposed to do nobody dirty because you never know how spirit is going to accelerate them. And nine times out of ten, a water sign was sent into your life to bring you love, to bring you spiritual growth, to bring you a sense of support. We're water signs. We are very loving. That's why it's so hard for us to leave. But baby, once we leave and once we recall our power back and knowing that we didn't do nothing wrong and that all of these things that was done to us was out of pure manipulation, not even because you were mean, you people, you know, someone did this to you just straight out of manipulation and selfishness because they felt like they can because you was too damn nice. You might, I'm talking to someone that probably never even cursed or probably never even, you know, tried to engage in any type of altercation here. And instead of looking at that as a valuable thing, they looked at it as walking all over you. Okay? That's what they did. They did that. But no need to worry because you have been protected and you are moving and being guided to calmer waters and you have taken the lessons that was learned and you're not leaving them because these were these were hurtful truths but they were valuable all right they were they were valuable and you can you are going to utilize them in your plans. You're going to utilize them in moving forward in financial freedom and abundance and resources and overwhelming energies of love and support and family. You are going to take all of this learning and hurt and realize all of this was for a reason because it got you to your wish fulfillment. It got you to being at a place of contentment 
emotionally because you have been granted by spirit the holy grail, the uh, overflow of unconditional love that anyone can ever experience at the most purest and highest form because spirit was watching the whole time. Spirit was watching this devil. Everywhere this motherfucker at, spirit is on their ass. But they, you know, spirit, we all got free will. So they can't really intervene unless we ask for it. And I felt like some of you guys asked for it because y'all caught on to the manipulation. Something happened to where you found out that you were being manipulated. Something didn't struck right. You felt a certain type of energy or you just literally came to your truth. And you prayed and you asked for help because you might have felt like you didn't have no support from anyone around you at this time. You might have felt isolated because this person made you feel isolated and probably made you feel so emotionally unstable and you didn't know where. But I see you praying. I don't really get, I'm not getting the energy of you asking for help, like calling people. I'm getting the energy that you prayed for a solution and the solution was to take you up out of that to teach you the lessons that you needed to learn so you could take these valuable truths with you and realize that it was not your fault that you gave that all you have given all that you gave this is simply was done out of pure selfishness i don't see no acts of injustice when it comes on your behalf as the king of cups I actually see you bringing nothing but abundance. Look, the first cards that came out was vision, overwhelming and overload of happiness, support, wish fulfillment, and complete abundance at the highest form, financial freedom. So you was coming in a relationship with these things. How is this in any shape or form bad? If anything, somebody should have been happy that you were adding to their lives because, baby, you are a blessing here. You are equipped with everything. You are equipped. You didn't need nothing. You was literally going towards somebody because you generally love them. That's all. You didn't need no money from them. You didn't need, you didn't need nothing. And what they did, they fucking manipulated the fuck out of you, but for no reason. I don't see a reason here. We're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pull a card, but spirit said not today, not today with my child. She has, he or she has a plan and it's, a, it's an amazing plan. And this is going to be carried out with or without this manipulated, manipulative ass energy. All right. I don't know who the hell this is. You did not need none of that. Let's pull one card to see why was this person manipulating you? Why is this devil here spirit? Look, you was being manipulated because a person didn't have their shit figured out. A person maybe was in a third party relationship with this three of pentacles, or maybe this person wasn't even involved with somebody else, but their money wasn't right. But whatever it is, this is clarifying the devil so this person energy was all off. They was burdened. They had, they was, they needed healing themselves. And instead of healing with you, because I felt like you was able to provide that with all of this abundance, they were too greedy. They were too burdened. They were too reliant on sex, money, drugs, um, all of the lavish things in life and missing the whole point of spirituality, doing people dirty that was actually sent into their lives to bless them and to bring them the support that they need because this person, whoever this devil is, is in your life is going through a hellish, a whole lot of shit themselves, literally overwhelmed themselves. So that's what happens when you don't know how to heal or when you are not taking accountability for your damn actions. You, you tend to, to act out in such a way where it becomes devilish, where it becomes 
your ego overpowering your morals and your character. And you do people dirty for, for literally no reason. Because all I see is this energy is being burdened. This energy had a lot on their plate. This energy was dealing with third-party relationships and, you know, just trying to fix their shit up. So instead of communicating that with you and really giving you an opportunity, they did not. And they act like they shit was all together and they manipulated the fuck out of you over they selfish acts, over the things that they did not choose to heal. So you need to be grateful and thankful that whatever you did, when you came to your senses, you prayed and you did the right thing. And when you prayed, spirit heard you and spirit literally heard you crying out for help. You was destroyed. You didn't have good clothes on. You wasn't taking care of yourself. Your health was down. And as he moved you, you regained balance. You regained order. You regained power. You regained your vision. And you got back to it. You got back to it. And at the bottom of the deck, a brand new offer. See? Someone is, is, is wanting to bring you an offer. Now, this could be a new opportunity at work. This could be a new business. This could be new money. This could be new support, finances, resources. Whatever it is, someone is actually coming in now to be your support system. Look, victory. Now, someone is, you're going to have the support you need finally to really carry out in victory and really... Be recognized for who you are instead of manipulated. Some of you guys are being recognized and, and accelerated in front of the same people that try to manipulate you. You don't see these people watching? Spirit is accelerating you because you, hold, you held your vision. You got up out of here. I love you guys and I hope that reading, uh, you know, helped you. I'm really connecting with these messages and, you know, moving forward, these these readings are really going to be insightful and really needed, um, you know, and helpful, helpful for your growth. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for supporting me. Don't forget to go um, subscribe and check out my Instagram. I post daily content, which will really resonate with some of you guys, if not all. And I find joy in doing all of this. So thank you.